Back in high school during a hot winter in November, there was this one time when I was in gym and one of my friends came up to me and it was November, right? So he came up to me, he was like, yo, you're gonna go on another November? And I remember when he told me that and I was like, hell no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Now during that time, I didn't really know how bad it was to actually fap 24 seven until a couple of years later, I decided to go on no fap for a couple of days. And that's when I realized how good life really is without fapping 24 seven. Now that I've been on no fap for a long time, I can honestly say that no fap is one of the most life-changing things that I've ever done to improve my life as a man and I truly believe, I truly believe that if any man out there is truly addicted to fapping and watching the hub, going on no fap and getting rid of that addiction will honestly be one of the most life changing things you'll do with your life as a man to improve overall. My life has overall gotten way better ever since I decided to go on no fap. I'm more focused on my mission, on my purpose, which honestly the main key is just discovering that direction in my life and just staying focused. And you might think that I would agree with going on no fap for like a couple of days, 30 days, or just going on no nut November right for the entire month, but I honestly don't. You gotta think about it like a person who's like, addicted to alcohol right like you all have that family member out there who's like been trying to quit alcohol when you look at a person who's addicted to alcohol when they try to quit for a couple of days and then they go back to drinking once a week whatever they always go back to their old habits where they were drinking every single day or they were drinking every single week when a person is trying to quit alcohol it is best to just quit completely because they're addicted to alcohol and it would be a bad idea to go and drink alcohol again after going 30 days without alcohol because if they go back drinking alcohol again after 30 days they're gonna go back to getting in that trap again and then they're gonna go back to getting addicted to it again they're gonna start drinking once a week twice a week three times a week it's gonna get to a point where they're gonna start drinking every single day so what was the point of quitting for 30 days if they went back to their old self the next day after because they just tried to do it for 30 days but they were like i'm gonna drink alcohol again the next day it would be a lot better if the goal was to be to completely get rid of alcohol from your life so that you never drink again and you never fall into that addiction again now like i said you guys probably have family members out there or you guys know someone who drinks alcohol a lot and you know they can't go like a couple days or a couple weeks without it alcohol addiction is actually a serious thing but that's the same way with how it works with fapping because fapping is also an addiction now it's not an addiction that you know you're drinking or you're smoking or something like that but it's an addiction where a man comes home from work or a man comes home from school like in my case i came home from school and i was ready to let one off and you're just looking forward to that one nut that you gotta let go you're looking forward to that one video that you got that you're trying to you know spend 38 minutes to an hour just searching for that one video that really gets you going so that you can let go of that one nut that takes like a couple of seconds and then boom you let it go a lot of us men grew up with this addiction and it gets to the point where a lot of men actually do this every single day to the point where it distracts them and it actually ruins their mental health because they start getting low confidence low self-esteem they start looking at people's eyes a lot less i'm telling you this because i was addicted to the hub before and i know what it feels like to be at that point where every single day basically you're just looking forward to that one nut and that one video and now you're not motivated no more now you're not driven you have no goals you're not working towards those goals i know how that feels now like i said fapping is an addiction because if you cannot go a couple of days without fapping or without watching the hub you are addicted to it the same way as if you can't go a couple of days or even a month without playing video games that's the same way you are addicted to video games so whatever it is that you have whether that's watching tv or being on your phone or being on social media or watching the hub if you can't go a couple of hours without being on social media if you can't go a couple of days a couple of months without fapping and watching the hub then that means that you have an addiction now when it comes to fapping and watching the hub 24 7 i never really understood the logic of going off of fapping 24 7 and watching the hub like going on no fap for like three days or for like seven days or for even 30 days and just going back to it the next day after that okay you made it 30 days congratulations and then you just go back the next day to fapping, you're gonna say once a day. You're gonna be like, I'm gonna try to fap once a day now. Or I'm gonna try to fap once a week. And then you do that and then you end up falling into the trap again and then you start doing it every single day like you used to before and then you lose control of yourself again. It's one of the reasons why I don't really agree with going on OFAP for 30 days only or going on OFAP for a whole week and then just going back to your old self or just trying to FAP a lot less the next day after you reach 30 days, after you reach your goal because it'll get to the point where you're gonna lose control to the point where you're gonna go back to doing it every single day like you used to before. No fab is not a challenge. It's not a 30 day challenge. It's not a seven day challenge because why go through seven days or 30 days of going through all those urges and emotions and just overcoming those urges and getting all this energy, all this drive back just to go back to fapping three times a day and losing control of your life again. The goal when it comes to no fab is not to try it for seven days. It's not to try it for 30 days. Instead, it's to just go on no fab and just try to get rid of the addiction completely so that you no longer seek watching the hub or that you no longer seek you going to the bathroom when you're going to the room, locking your door, getting the sock and just getting ready to let one off. Your goal on no fab is to go for 
for as long as you can because let's say you have a goal of going on no fat for 30 days and then you get to 30 days you're gonna feel a lot more better when you get to 30 days than you did when you were at day one because when you get to 30 days you're gonna feel a lot more energetic you're gonna feel a lot more motivated a lot more driven you probably already written down your goals now you're working towards your goals and if you go from 30 days feeling good and then the next day after that you go back to fapping three times a day you're gonna lose all that progress that you made so far. You're gonna lose that drive, you're gonna lose that motivation. You're probably not gonna work towards your goals as hard as you did when you were on NoFap now because now you have less drive, now you have less motivation. And I've explained before that you start to feel a lot more better the longer you go on NoFap because when you start to go longer on NoFap, your brain is gonna start to rewire itself to not seek that false dopamine that you get from watching the hub and from beating off. And so once your brain starts to rewire itself slowly, slowly to now enjoy real things that actually provide real dopamine, when you earn it, for example, Example, you work out after you work out you get that instant dopamine after but that was dopamine that you worked for which is actually good dopamine your brain will start to re rewire itself to now want real dopamine that you actually work for and not fake dopamine that you can instantly get right now like the hub and only damages you psychologically so when your brain starts to go through this process if you go from 30 days which it all depends on everyone right every single person experiences this rewiring process of the brain at different stages but typically when you're on your 30 day mark or when you're on your 60 day mark is when the rewiring process starts to happen and when you start to get to the point where you now don't even think about fapping and you don't even think about the hub anymore when you get to this point is when your brain has finally wired itself to not seek instant false dopamine from the hub which i shall explain more deeply in that video that i made which you guys can go watch if you guys haven't if you want to get to that point where you're no longer thinking about fapping where you're no longer thinking about the hub you have to make sure that you go longer and longer and not just make it a goal of I want to get to 30 days or I want to get to 60 days because maybe for you it takes 90 days to rewire your brain. Maybe it takes 60 days. If you go just for 30 days just to try the challenge and then you go back to fapping the next day, you are going to ruin the rewiring process and now your brain, since it was so close to rewiring itself to not seek dopamine from the hub, now it's going to go back to seeking dopamine from the hub and you're going to go back to being addicted to the hub and to fapping 24-7 because just when it was about to rewire yourself, you went back to your old self because you tried nofap for a couple of days you tried it for a challenge and you felt good throughout that time the problem is that you cut all the progress short and one of the best ways that you can avoid making nofap a challenge and just try to go as long as you can because like remember our goal on nofap is to cut this addiction long term and to no longer want to watch the hub and to fap 24 7. we want to get to the point where we're not seeking dopamine from watching the hub anymore and to get to this point i always recommend to not count the days and you might be thinking well brian you just made a video explaining how you went 1095 days on nofap how are you telling me not to count the days when you're counting the days as well well in reality i'm not counting the days you see i don't even know how many days i'm on right now all i know is that i've been on nofap for over three years now now all i did was go on google i calculated the days how many days are in three years 1095 days and that's why i put 1095 days because all i know is that i've been on nofap now for three years now i've been on nofap right now for over three years now so i've actually been over 1095 days on nofap right now but i honestly don't know the exact number of how many days i've been on nofap because i don't count them it's easy to count the days when you know that you've been on it for a year because a year is just 3065 days Two years is what the, I'm gonna have to do the math on that, but I'm not gonna do the math right now. But three years is 1,095 days. And so it's really easy to calculate the days when you are like saying, I've been on OFA for three years. Okay, that's 1,095 days. So I don't count the days, even though I do know that I've been on it for 1,095 days. But the only reason why I know that is because I've been on it for three years. And the reason why I say don't count the days or don't make it a goal of like, okay, I'm on day 14 or I'm on trying to go on day 17, I'm trying to go 30 days on it. When you start to count the days, you're already programming yourself to already quit. Anybody who starts working out, they never count the days that they're working out. They never be like, oh yeah, I'm on day 10 working out. Like you never hear anyone say that. Usually when a person is working out, they're just working out because long-term they're trying to fix their health and they're trying to get in good shape. And when you think about something long-term, you're not thinking about the days. It's the same way as nobody's ever counted the days on how long they've been working on their goals. You don't say, oh yeah, I'm on day 60, I'm working on my goals. Nobody says that because usually when you're working on goals, you are thinking long term and so you don't know how many days you're on you just know that you started and you're working on your goals because these goals you plan on accomplishing them even if they take a long time because you have that long-term perspective and that's the same way with nofap you shouldn't count the days on nofap and make it like a challenge of like i'm going to go 30 days i'm going to go 60 days because once you start to count the days and let's say you get to 30 days since your mind already said okay you made it to 30 days now let's go back to fapping. You're gonna go back to fapping the next day and then you're gonna go back to being addicted to it and all that progress that you made on nofap went all to the garbage basically because you went back to your old self after 30 days. Now obviously when you're just starting out, it's gonna be easy to know exactly the days you've been on it because 
for example, let's say you start on a Saturday, no fab, and then the next Saturday, you're gonna be aware that you've been on it for seven days because it's not that hard to calculate the days. But if you try your best to not make it a challenge, when you start to change your perspective with NoFap from a short-term perspective, meaning I'm gonna try it for 30 days, to a long-term perspective, meaning I'm gonna try it as long as I can, as long as I can overcome these urges, and at the same time, I can work on my goals, like I'm trying to get in better shape, I'm trying to build on this skill, I'm trying to become the best at my job. As long as I do these things, I'm going to be going on NoFap long-term. And now you're not even gonna be thinking about how many days you've been on NoFap because you probably already forgot. Unless you've been on it for a year, unless you know the month that you've been on OFAP, which that's how I know because I know the exact month that I went on OFAP. Unless you know the month and then a year passes by and you're like, holy crap, this time a year ago, I went on OFAP. So that means I've been on it for a year now. That's the same way with me. When it came to the time where I made three years on OFAP, I was like, damn, three years ago, I went on OFAP. And I knew that because of the exact month that I went on it. And it was already over that month. So that's when I knew that I was already on OFAP for three years now. Just make it a mission to not fab and not watch the hub anymore. And then work on your goals at the same time. Work on your mission. Stay focused on that. You're not going to be thinking about, I want to fab today. You're not going to be thinking about, I want to watch that one video that really gets me going. Because now you've gone to the point where you've overcome that addiction. And now you're not even thinking about fab and now your life is a lot better now you're motivated you're driven and now you have all these goals that you have and you're just working towards them and your life is overall better you're more confident you have higher self-esteem and you just look forward to your life now but anyways that's all i gotta say i'm out